Today, I'm going to be teaching you about flip turns. Flip turns are when you hop the entire bike in the air and spin. So you should be comfortable hopping the front tire, hopping the rear tire, as well as doing floaters and bunny hops, because this is going to be a combination of all of those things. A small log like this is a great place to start because it will teach you the timing of when you need to do the bunny hop when you don't have a kicker. So we're going to start by coming in, setting the front tire on the log, and try to get about a 45 degree angle. The angle doesn't matter so much. It's just going to kick you slightly different. The more angle you have, or the less angle you have, the less kick you'll get out of it. So set the front tire up, ride along, and at first just wheel into the log and see what the rear tire does when it hits. What's going to happen is it will hit, the tire will fold, suspension will compress, and when it rebounds, it will naturally kick the rear tire in the direction you want to go. So I'm going to start with some left-handed flip turns, but I'm going to start really light, just wheelie into it, let the rear tire kick a little bit at a time, not even focus on turning just yet. Just let the rear tire hit and feel what it does when it rebounds and kicks you over. You want to make sure you power your rear tire into the log. So when you let the clutch out for the wheelie, stay on the throttle until the rear tire hits. Once it hits and rebounds, then you can let off. When you want to get more spin out of it, there's a few things you can do. Start by leaning the bike into it. It helps to stomp on the inside foot peg, push on the inside grip to get the bike to rotate in. That way when it hits, it'll be at a more of an angle when it rebounds and give you more pop. And then when it does hit, try to time that with how you do a bunny hop and unload the suspension to let that rear tire really rebound to come up high. And you also want to look around the corner. So initiate that by turning your shoulders, turning your head in the direction you want to go and try to spot your landing. First gear typically works best for this, although you might want to try second and see what works for you. It's good to practice landing with the clutch in and the brakes on and try to land balanced and stopped because if it's in a section, you might not have a lot of room to roll out or you might want to set up for a second. So land balanced, stop, set up and then go. You also want to work on both directions early on. The earlier you can get comfortable doing both directions, the better off you'll be in the future. The next easiest step is to find a mellow hill. This will help get the front tire up and help make some of the pop for you. But the technique is very similar. You just need to make up for that kicker. So to do that, you need to do more of a bunny hop and pop the clutch a little bit quicker to get the rear tire up and spun around. So to do that, you want to compress the suspension a bit as you come into it. Once it's compressed, that's when you start your floater. Once the floater's up, that's when you pop for your bunny hop and pivot your body, look where you want to land, and ride out of it. If you are having a hard time getting a lot of rotation out of it and want to get closer and closer to a 180, you can really bring your body forward over the front end of the bike after you pop. It's like you're putting your head towards the front tire and really trying to pivot over the bike like that. So the front tire will be up. This just helps pivot the bike easier, makes the rotation come a little bit further. Another thing you can try if you're looking for a little more pop is to actually drag the brakes and grab them just as the suspension is compressing to try to get that extra little bit of compression before you pop the clutch. The final step is to take it to the flat ground. The technique is very similar, but it's going to take a little more effort from you. You have to put a little more body into it to try to lift the rear tire. You don't have a kicker, you don't have a hill to get that pop. So remember to start by dropping your body down into the bike to compress the suspension, but stomp harder on the inside foot peg and push on the inside grip, then turn the handlebars into it pop the clutch and jump while rotating your shoulders and your head in the direction you want to go. Pull up hard on the inside grip, then get over the front of the bike to get the rotation. Spot your landing, land where you want to, land balanced, take off smooth. Don't worry too much if you can't get a full 180 rotation since that takes a lot of time to build up to and it's very rarely useful in a section, but there may be a time when a 45 degree flip turn can save you points and that could give you the edge over the competition. So keep trying until you get it down.